Jésus. Thank you for coming. Um, I apologize because we are um, starting a bit late, 10 minutes. Um, that's why on purpose I put the video. So that's uh, one good style of presentation. If you know your audience, I'm, I'm not talking about you, some uh, coming soon. And uh, so you put something at the beginning which is not very relevant or like could be useful, but if you miss it, you're not going to miss a big deal. So this is one thing I learned how to present when some people there are late. At the beginning, I would like to uh, thank um, the um, Center of Excellence um, in Information Assurance for giving me this opportunity to present today. And also thank Dr. Khaled al Ghatfar for his invitation, as well as the encouragement of Dr. Uh, Professor Mohammed Fatouche. Uh, for encouraging me to present uh, at the center. So today we're going to talk about the forensic computing and digital crime. And I add uh, another bit, which is cyber warfare, which is very much related and very critical and crucial for our life, economy, and infrastructure. So let's start. Um, we, we're going to talk, as I said, um, about forensic um, or computer forensics. We know we have forensics, science. I'm going to talk about the advent of technology, definition, uh, protection, investigation, as well as uh, the legal issue, because as we know, computer forensics is not about only technology, but it has very important part, which is a legal system. So we're going to talk about some issues in legal and technology about education, research, and computer forensic. And the last part, as I said, we'll talk about the cyber warfare, which is very, very critical and important and emerging issue and big and uh, country they are dealing with it very seriously. And Within this, we were going to talk about cyber spying, smart virus, cyber intelligent weapon. And I believe, and many people believe, the 21st century war would be the cyber war, definitely. So um, talking about the cyber warfare, we have to talk about the international awareness and the last question, are we prepared for the cyber war? We start with defining the forensics. Forensics, it's a science before the computer forensics. As you know, when there's a crime, the investigator or police officers, they come on the scene and try to uh, find some fingerprint or some uh, trace for the criminal or sus suspect. Um, but computer forensics, this is the simple and easy definition for computer forensic. It's the collection, preservation, analysis, and court presentation of computer-related evidence. I'm not going to uh, comment on this because I'm going to explain each process one by one. And of course, some other people, they describe it in different way. So here we go. So we have main four processes. We have four main processes in computer forensics. Later on, I'm going to call it forensic computing, and I will explain why. So the first process in computer forensics is the identification. So we have a crime. We have something happened. So we go and seize the, the computer of the suspect or defendant or the victim. So we have to try to find. 
some e evidence related to the crime that could be supporting the suspect or against the suspect. So it's not always we're trying to make the suspect a criminal. So it could be positive or negative. So let's identify how we can identify or where we, we're going to look. So we'll explain in detail hard disk, external hard drive, email, internet, visited website, all what uh, the e-evidence can reside on. Okay? So, and of course, we have million or billion of files. So we have, we're trying to find something related to the crime. So the first process. The second process, we're going from, after we identify the e-evidence, document could be images, pictures, text, uh, email, video, whatever it would be. The second one, the second process, it's uh, preservation. How to preserve the e-evidence. It's very crucial and important for the legal system to satisfy the court and the judge to keep the e-evidence as it is. Because, you know, we can change the document uh, very easily. So we have a file. We can change it in a way like it seems like criminal or not. So that's very crucial to keep it as it is and make a professional copy. And I mean, not any copy could be original copy. So we keep the original as it is. We make a bitmap copy. We have a tool in computer forensic to make like exact copy. And we work on the copy. If something happened to the copy, then we can make another copy. But again, it's very crucial to keep the original. And if we make any change, because sometimes we need to make a little change, but we have to be accountable for it. And we have to present it with a judge. And if there is any question, we have to say why we did this minor change? Uh, uh, if we don't know why or we don't have the expertise, all the process will be gone. The third, which is the most important thing, the analysis, how to analyze the evidence. Once we have the e-evidence, we make uh, uh, exact copy and we start doing analysis. We start doing the process and the analysis of this e-evidence to see how much related to the criminal or the suspect or even the victim. So that's the main process. The last one, which is so all what we talked about so far, they are related to technology. The last one is related to the court and the judge and the legal system. So we have to know computer forensic examiner or investigator or professional is someone who needs to know to discipline the technology and the legal system, the law. You don't need to be a lawyer, but you need at least to know what is the legal system in this country. Because as you know, presenting the e-evidence in Saudi Arabia is different from presenting the e-evidence in Australia. So each country has different legal system. So it's a very crucial because at the end of the day, if the judge or the court dismiss the case, say, ah, all what you're doing is not right because you're presenting in a wrong way. And we don't need to focus so much and on the presentation itself, but because we need to just focus on the e-evidence itself. So we don't want to like make ourselves like a lawyer, make the white uh, look like a black and the black look like what? It's a different story. So where to search? As we know, devices, computers, mobile devices, PDA, mobile phone, CD, DVD, zip disk, external hard drive, floppy disk, all what you we can think of any electronic devices. Now, as well as emails, visited website, forum, chat, special website, hosted website. And everyone had this question. So we're thinking about existing e-evidence, not deleted. How about if someone, the criminal, they try to hide themselves, they delete some uh, file, they delete some email, they uh, encrypt, so this is very dangerous, and we'll talk about it. It's a war between hacker and criminal, digital uh, criminal, and the professional forensic computer. How, who will win, who will have the upper hand? And we have to have the upper hand, otherwise it, it's very difficult for us to live. So we, what to search, of course, text, document, images, pictures, video, email, history of visited website, deleted file, and deleted email. It's very simple. Why 
how we can recover deleted file. If we understand the, all the operating system, when we delete a file, we're not physically deleting the file. We're 